Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 109. Inside this video, we will see a something different concept that is how to add a watermark text on image inside level 8. So while working with this topic guys, also you need to know that what are the extensions actually we should need while working with the image manipulation task. So for this topic, already we have an article over this blogging website. Simply click on blog, click on this search icon and if I type the text called watermark, press enter, we should get the article that is how to add watermark text on images. So first of all, what this topic means? If I go here, this is an image without any watermark text. Let's say we want that means we want to create a system by the help of that system if we upload any image that it will go and add our brand name inside this image. It means we want a watermark text and after uploading image the application will do something like this. This is an image. We have some code by the help of some code, we are writing our brand name now inside this image. So inside this video, we will discuss the same topic that is how to add a watermark text on image inside level 8. So if I back to browser, here we have an article, click on this article link. This article is totally from scratch, it means application installation up to application testing. So we need First of all, our level setup. So for this video, already we have a setup here. Now next, what are the extensions actually we need before working with the image related task? So if I scroll down, here we have required PHP extensions. So while working with the images task, like task we have something like resize image, generating thumbnails, let's say to add a watermark text. So all these tasks actually required means all these images tasks required some PHP extensions and those extensions are GD and image cake. So how can we verify that these extensions in my system are available or not? So simply you need to create any of the PHP file add to application root directory. So here I have created a file called info.php. Inside this file, I have written a PHP function that is PHP info. By the help of this PHP function, PHP info actually, we are displaying all the PHP settings, all the PHP configuration that what we have currently active for my system. So simply, if we run this file to our browser, let's type localhost in my case, it is info.php. So if I press enter and as we can see that it is displaying all PHP related information. So currently in my system PHP version 7.4.4 and if I search for let's say GD and as we can see that here we have a section of GD extension and it has been enabled. And if I search for the second extension that is image geek, so copy and search and here we can see that it has been also enabled. So in your case, if it is not enabled or if you are not getting inside this info file, simply you need to install and activate those first. So let's say that for this article, these extensions are enabled in our system. So next, what we have to do? So we need to install our intervention image composer package. This composer package will help us to actually work with the image related task. It means this package helps us to create image thumbnails, watermark or format large file means large images files. So inside this video, we are going to see one of the tasks from this list that is adding watermark text. So we need to install this package. So I will copy that, 
battery terminal this is our project setup and inside this setup we are simply installing this composer package called intervention forward slash image as we can see that package has been installed now next we need to register this package what we have installed to our application so for that we need to go inside this app.php search for providers array aliases array and add these lines into that associated array so first of all i will search for for this providers array go here config app.php so inside this app.php we will see that we will have a providers array here it is and inside this providers array i will paste that line now next we need to do copy this line go inside this aliases array so if i scroll down here we have the another array inside this app.php called aliases and i will add inside this file go inside this aliases and i will add here so after adding these settings inside this app.php now next we need to download a font family so here question we have that why we need font family here now if i back to this image so as we can see that this is the text what we have added inside this image we want some different look and feel for this text it means some font weight font size font family so for that we need to download a font family file otherwise you can actually this is an optional you can leave as it is but for this article we have preferred a font family so here we have the link if i click on this link it will go inside roboto including mono this is the font family and here we have the button called download family so simply if i click on this button it will download a zip folder and inside this zipped folder we will have some font related files so we need to copy all those files and we need to place inside public folder if i back to folder structure go one folder back and here is the folder what we have downloaded so if i unzip that folder extract here and as we can see that inside this folder we have several different different kind of files so what i will do simply I will copy this first file that is with the extension of .ttf so I will copy go inside this application this is our application go inside this public folder and I will place it inside public folder if you want to create a fonts folder also you can do that so after now configuring with the like font family this is the section what we have done now next we need to add some route so before adding route we need to create a controller and here we have data controllers so back to terminal let's say php artisan make controller and we want data controller you can create your own name with any of the controller so data controller created successfully scroll down and here we have the complete code so i will copy this code back to editor open up the file so go and reload this folder structure first app http controllers and here we have data controller so i will remove the existing code pasting this updated code so let's go through one more time with this code so inside this data controller class file we have two methods that is first image upload and second watermark method so inside this image upload method simply we are returning a view file this is the layout in this layout we have a upload form by the help of that form upload we will upload any image our task is when we upload any image inside this setup we need to add a watermark text on that uploaded image so we need a layout so the first method is displaying all about the layout and the second method this is like we are reading image from our post request renaming the file with the timestamp value then we are moving this uploaded image inside this images folder of public so right now inside public folder we don't have any images folder so next we need to create that 
So when we upload any image from that form, we will upload that image inside this images folder. So here we are uploading. So next, after getting the image path, we are adding our text like brand name here I have specified and this is all about our pixels value. We will discuss all these things once we have done all the settings. So next, we need to create this view file. So I will copy that. Go inside this resources folder, views folder. Let's create that file called image-upload.bleed.php and inside this file, we need some layout code. So if I scroll down, here we have our layout code. So I will copy, go here and pasting it here. Now next, we want some route which is going to display this layout what we had seen inside browser. So if I scroll up, go inside web.php, we need to import our controller and add these two routes. The first route is all about opening our layout file and the second route is all about our form submission. So go inside routes folder web.php. Let's import data controller first. So data controller. Next we need to add some routes. So here we have two different routes. The first route which is going to open the image upload form and the second after uploading that image it is going to add watermark text as well as it will upload that image inside images folder. This is using get request type and this is using post request type. So if I will copy this route, go inside terminal, let's start development server. So PHP artisan serve started open into a new tab of browser. This is our landing page. Now here, if I type image hyphen upload and as we can see that we have a form inside this form, we have a upload button in which we need to select our image file, click on save button. So when I inspect this form, go inside this form action, as we can see that it is hitting add hyphen watermark. So if I go here, means web.php add hyphen watermark, it is calling this method from data controller. So go inside data controller and here's the method. So let's upload our image first and then we will see that how the text is going to add inside that image. If I close this inspect, click on this choose file button and we are going to select this image as we can see here our preview there is no text inside this image click on open we have selected this image click on save button and here we have some error that is internal gd font not available and this error indicates that actually what we have used inside our code all about font family it is means it is not actually linking properly with this application so here we have this name called roboto mono hyphen vari variable font and if we go inside our public folder where we have placed our font family and look at this name and it is something different because here inside this word it is italic so I will copy this font family again, go here inside this or simply what we have downloaded inside this folder, we have the second file and inside this name there is no italic. So I will copy, go inside this application setup and pasting it here. So we have two options, either we can use with the normal font or in case if we want italic, we can use this font family. But inside our code, we have preferred our normal font. So all we have done, this is actually our mistake here. So go and reload, choose that image again, click on save button. And as we can see that image saved, if I back to folder structure, go inside this public folder. And as we have discussed that after uploading image, it will save that image inside images folder. So go inside this folder. And inside this folder, as we can see that our image has been moved and the text has been added. So let's see the clear view that how this text actually added inside this image. So if I back to method again, so this is all about getting the image path what we have uploaded. After getting that path, we are adding this text by the help of this 
text method and here we have some numeric value what this value actually means this is all about let's say margin left it means 450 if I open this image 450 is the position from this left to this value this is all about 450 and the next value we have 100 this is from top this is from left and this is from top again back to image and from the top it is all about 100 this is 450 and this is the text what we have added text has been specified here and here we have the callback function inside this callback function we are inheriting a variable called font this is by using our intervention library and from this font we have few methods like file here we are actually giving our font family file path and totally it is optional if we don't want to use any font family simply we can comment that here we have the font size it means the text size over this image this is equals to 40 pixel what we have specified here this is all about our text color and this is all about our horizontal alignment and vertical alignment this is center and bottom so these are the settings guys actually what we have passed to set this text over this image if suppose we want to change that let's online web tutor academy if we change this text again go and upload this image what it will do first of all we have selected an image when we click on this save button it will pick the image path do all these changes and save inside this image file path it means image di images directory so if we save all these changes go and click on save button image saved here go here and as we can see that if you open this image online web tutor academy and one more thing we can see here that the image name is something a numeric value dot jpg which indicates that actually here we have called timestamp it is giving the timestamp value with the extension and this is the name actually what we are using to place our uploaded image inside this images folder so this is guys actually overall video to demonstrate how can we add a watermark text inside image and one more thing this is the most important thing is that while working with this tutorial while working with this intervention library what we had seen here that is composer package while working with this these extensions should be enabled because if these extensions are missing then you will get some error while working with these so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day